This is KTSM 9 News at 10. The group behind that privately funded border barrier along the U.S.-Mexico border in Sunland Park is now hoping to reach more supporters to donate to their cause. Thanks for joining us for KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Natasha Paloma. Daniel is off tonight. The group holding a wallathon, hoping to raise money with the help of high-profile personalities. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is there with a live report. That's right, Natasia. The Wallathon is just about wrapping up for the day. This started earlier this afternoon with the president of the We Built the Wall group, Brian Colfage, joined by former White House strategist Steve Bannon, leading the panel. KTSM caught up with Steve Bannon, who told us he actually played a large role in the building of the barrier. I said, listen, why don't you put a group together? and just flip this and go build the wall yourself. The group We Built the Wall did just that, now fundraising to expand border barriers to other locations across the southern border. Walls get your sovereignty. What walls will do is also force people to go to ports of entry. Once you go to ports of entry, you can start sorting this out. Group members calling the large influx of migrants a crisis on the border. The asylum situation I think is being gamed. It's being gamed by the cartels. Remember, the people making money out of this are the cartels bringing them up. The first barrier funded by donations from a GoFundMe page. Now, with the Wallathon, members say more projects are to come. We're just we're literally taking it one at a time. But right now, we uh, there's three that we're like having our pipeline that we're working on, and uh, they're you know in Texas and uh, New Mexico right now. The group hoping to raise at least a million dollars during the fundraiser, but also hoping to send a message to the people of America. They get to see what this is going to look like in other places as we keep building. It also is going to show the people that, that haven't donated that We Build the Wall is succeeding where our government has failed. The Wallathon continues again tomorrow afternoon and then again on Wednesday. For now, live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Stephanie. Meanwhile